Lucien Levy Bruel, Quid de Deo Seneca Saints, read episode 4. Omnibus fer regentibus in Erdromanam potestatem erdredactis, mox principetantum imperdrium obtinente, totus mutatis erdra erdredrum publicardrum et privatardrum status. As Levy Bruel continues discussing the difference between conditions in the 3rd century BC and the 2nd century AD, he now begins to talk about Augustus. When all the nations, omnibus gentibus, gentibus is a feminine plural, ablative noun, it's modified by the adjective omnibus and by the adjective the participle, redactis. This is therefore an ablative absolute. Ablative noun or pronoun, ablative participle, and separated from the rest of the sentence grammatically. Omnibus, but ferdre omnibus, when almost all nations had been brought down or had been subjected in Romanam potestatem to Roman power, and this is feminine singular, accusative, the object of in. Soon at that time, principe obtenente, yet another ablative absolute. We have principe, masculine, singular, and ablative, the princeps, referring to Augustus. We have the modifying participle obtenente in the same gender number case, this from the second conjugation verb, obtineo, obtenere, like so, soon with only tantum, the princeps holding power, holding sway. This is reminiscent of a famous line from Horace. So when these two ablative absolutes had obtained, when these were the conditions, almost all nations subjected to Roman power, only the princeps holding control or authority imperium, now we get to the main clause. Totus status. Status is a masculine, singular, nominative, fourth declension noun, status, condition or state. The entire condition, rerdrum publicardrum et privatardrum, both of public events, public affairs, and of personal or private affairs, and all three of these words, rerum publicardrum and privatardrum, are feminine, plural, and genitive, the whole condition of all of these private and public affairs, mutatis erdrat, had been changed, had been transformed. Mutatis erat is a third, singular, pluperfect, indicative, passive verb from the first conjugation, muto, mutardre, like so. This is the crest of the University of Paris, whence Levi Bruhl earned his doctorate.